Congratulations to you all for being here. It's such an honour to be able to, I think, represent your country at any sport. Um, and you guys being in the first women's Indigenous cricket team, um, no one can ever take that away from you. You're representing your country, but you're also representing your people. Being an Aboriginal and being able to stand here today in another country um, that's got a fair bit of culture here as well um, is a big thing. This is the start of something hopefully really special and that what we do here today in this tournament um, sets, sets us up for the future and also being able to inspire future and fellow, fellow Aboriginal players to continue a pathway into cricket like we have today. Well, I've never been out of Australia before, so this is um, very different to the way I used to live, but you know, I'm taking it all in and I'm making the most of it. That's what I love a bit, the most, that I come from you know, a small little country town and that not many people from there go this far, so the fact that I'm one of the people that can do that, I'm very proud to, to do that and represent my mob. They see how, you know, how much we travel and all the great things we get to do and they think, oh, gee, I want to do that. So, yeah, hopefully it does inspire them to do what we're doing. I suppose it's just been the experience of playing with all of these um, great girls that are, you know, ambitious cricketers like myself and um, we have some very, very talented ones like Ash Gardiner and being able to play with Sally Malloyne and that kind of stuff and have Shelly Nitschke as our coach coaching us. It's been a good experience for that um, and today um, wicket keeping was um, a bit of a highlight for me with um, taking a catch and considerably being quite good. It kind of makes me realise that, um, you know, a couple more levels and you're almost there pretty much. So it does give you the inspiration to keep going, I suppose. Um, and it's something that I suppose I'd like to do, but also back in Tassie, I'd like to be um, an Indigenous cricket ambassador. So um, definitely try and get to state level cricket. Thousands of years, so um, play world cricket, uh, good cricket and um, have fun too. <laughs> It's a really good opportunity. Um, this doesn't come around very often. Um, there's, been, there's a few girls in the team that um, I've played with for the first time as they've come from different states. 
Um, but yeah, look, it's it's um, it's an honour to play with the girls, um, and we've I've had fun since I've been here the last 48 hours, so it's been great. It's good to be back um, after um, 2009 since I was here for the Breakers, but um, it's good to be back and to play for Australia for um, my mob. What is it like to join this this bunch of girls on this you know historic? Yeah, tour? it's 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 a real honour um, as it's the first Australian Indigenous team to tour. Um, it's a good honour to play with um, my friends as well as Sally Moyle, and she's my best mate from school. So it's um it's a good opportunity to play with her since I haven't played with her since New South Wales State Champs. So yeah, it's a real honour. New South Wales or not, it's, they're a good bunch of girls and um, they're quite young as well. So, you know, it's good for them to get out there and um, be amongst the girls that do have a bit of experience um, and, you know, to look upon us to show what we can do and support those girls.